welcome fellow bookworms and film fans welcome to this week's episode of the contented narrative we'll be looking at the dream merchant by isabel hoving or hoving um now if there is a sequel to this one please let me know because i've searched high and low cannot find it thoroughly enjoyed this book i have had this book for years i can't tell you where i found it i can't tell you how i got it i just know that i've had it at least as long as I've been up north, which is at least 11 years. But I just, I, th I might have picked it up at like a bookstore one day or I, I, God knows. Um, but basically it's about time travellers, but not in a classic sense of time travelling. So these, it's children that can go through like these little rifts in time and sort of go back. And it's almost like dream hopping a little bit. Um, and they're going back and you've got your main character, Josh, who gets hired by this company. And basically they're going back and, and he... He gets trapped in this sort of like time traveling dream world kind of world. It's very hard to explain, like genuinely. I know I leave the rating to the end, but f four out of five for me. Um, honestly, it would get a five out of five, but it does leave a couple of questions at the end of the book. Um, so if you can find it, buy it. It is a fantastic book. Um, but yeah, so it's a, it's a it's a very hard one to explain. And it's about, as I said, Josh, this main character, he makes friends with these other with these other children and they go into like this dream world, time hopping sort of world. And they're trying to find ideas and stuff to, to bring forward into their timeline so they can they can expand and, and build and, and become a better version of, of the world, basically. Not that the world is that bad in the book. It's not like a, an apocalyptic world. Um, and our main guy, Josh, he goes into this, this thing and the first time I don't think there's that much issue, but then the second time he gets stuck. Um, and as he's trying to sort of like go through, he makes friends with this with this girl. Um, and it's just, it's so weird because you get, you get like different cultures and you get like different, like, it. honestly, it's, I'm not very good at explaining it, which is really annoying because it is, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, but it's a book that I keep going back to and I've, I've had it, like and I literally have read it so many times over I probably will reread it again some point this year or next year um and I just I, I would never lend out my copy though <laughs> so I do lend books to people that I trust but I would never lend out my copy so if you do want to read it you have to buy it because as I said I've had this for ages and I don't know if I can find it again and this is my my copy but it's just I love the fact that the children are supposed to trust these adults but the adults are all very nefarious and they lie and they cheat and they steal but in actuality when i read it when i was younger well, however many years ago that was um i was like oh yeah no adults are awful blah, blah, blah. And then i've gotten older and i'm like actually yeah they're actually saying that for that reason and i completely agree with what they said for that one uh, <laughs> i mean sometimes i do turn around and go oh no adults shouldn't be doing that with children like nothing sinister it's more the fact that you know they'll put the child in danger um but it's just it's such a beautiful like adventure um you know there's twists there's turns there's a little bit of magic in there uh, obviously as I said there's time travel there's like I mean sometimes you turn around and go I did not see that coming and it just it gets me every time and I I just I love this book I really do and I don't think this gets enough recognition that it deserves because honestly, I don't think anyone's really heard of this book at all. And like Siren Song, I know that um, some people have now read Siren Song, which I'm very grateful for. I do like trying to do book reviews, mainly on books that I don't think people will have heard of. Sometimes, obviously, you can't always do books that people have never heard of. But I do feel like like in this instance, um, and Siren Song, and even Whitby Witches, I like doing those books because they've brought me joy for so long. And I love reading it and it just brings me so much happiness when I just crack it open. And, you know, I very rarely get hardbacks, as you can see, all paperbacks on this side. My hardbacks are on this side and I've only got like, what, two shelves of it? But like, this is just, I mean, get it. If you can get it, get it. Um, and please, honestly, with this one, leave it below in the comments and let me know what you think. But I 100% recommend this book to anybody um, who wants just just an interesting little story that like, honestly, I don't think I've really come across this story in terms of anywhere else. Like, I've had elements of like the time travel, the dream hop and everything like that in different stories that I've read, but it all in one place and it works so well. So as I said, four out of five, it leaves a couple of little loose strings at the end. So this is why I'm wondering if there was a sequel, 
but I just thoroughly enjoy it and I do recommend this book to anyone. If you agree with me, please leave it below in the comments. If you disagree with me, leave it below in the comments. Um, obviously, as always, I'm happy to have recommendations for, for from people. Um, leave them below in the comments, join me on Facebook, join me on Instagram, uh, send me a message. I'm absolutely happy to respond. But thank you so much for your continued support, guys. And remember to always keep it content. So.